I'm Stephen Nolan. I'm director of the Williamson Gallery. Thank you for hanging in to the bitter end. <laughs> um, <laughs> my presentation is unique because it's the only one that comes with beer and wine. Uh, so I've been doing uh, exhibitions having to do with art, technology, and science now for a few decades. Um, I, the first art and technology show that I think I did, that I can recall, was with Erke in 1995. Uh, and the first, and after a while, uh, after a few years of doing a lot of media art and technology shows, I began doing exhibitions that were more specifically about art and science. And the first one I did uh, really on that theme was in 2003 with Simon Penny, who's also here. It's great to see old, old friend. Um, called Neuro with uh, a lab at Caltech called the, um, um, it was called. Center for Neuromorphic Engineering. Yeah, it was the Center for Neuromorphic <laughs> Engineering. Um, which was a, a, a lab that looked at how uh, uh, biological organisms sense and make sense of the world and tried to build machines uh, to uh, emulate, emulate that. So I've been doing uh, these science and art shows for a while, and I've been thinking about what uh, it is that I should say as a statement about what I do, how I could put it into a s concise statement. It's an ongoing project. Uh, it's short, and I'm going to try it out in its current uh, form on you right now. <laughs> so here it is, and I'm just going to read this part of it. it um, I make exhibitions. I say it that way because I don't much care for the term curate or organize, and I think of exhibitions as a form of art and the making of them as an art practice. At the Williamson Gallery, of which uh, I am fortunate to be the director, I make exhibitions that puzzle over the intersection of science and art. The Williamson Gallery is not a science museum, though. It's an art gallery, and its shows are non-didactic. Reporters sometimes like to ask, what impression do you hope a viewer will take away from the exhibit? I answer, I hope they leave a little bit confused. I hope to interfere with stereotypes about both the art and about the science. I studiously avoid any implication of New Age spiritualism. I believe that science and evidence are beautiful and poetic, and that sensations of transcendence are biological and not divine, and even more beautiful because of it. My exhibitions are puzzlements. By that I mean they're a way for me and others to puzzle over topics at the science and art intersection. So in that sense, the exhibition is an experiment and at the same time, a report on the experiment. Like a performance or perhaps a play with a sequencing, pacing, moments, fragments, and a whole. And that's as far as I've, I've got so far. But that does kind of set the context for what I'm going to show you, which is two recent exhibitions. One I'm going to show you here, uh, and then the other one is up in the gallery where we get to uh, go and uh, have casual conversation and uh, about all the wonderful things that we've seen today over a glass of wine and a bottle of beer and some um, pretzels. <laughs> So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you this exhibition that opened last October um, in the Williamson Gallery and was called Uncertainty. And I'm going to run through some slides and very quickly describe what you're seeing, very quickly. And then I'm going to show you a video of the ac actual in installation that lasts only 10 minutes. And then we'll go upstairs for the finale. So the exhibition called, was called Uncertainty. 
This is data visualization by Thomas McCauley. He's a physicist, uh, and it's one of the particle collisions at the Large Hadron. It's data visualization of one of the particle collisions at the Large Hadron Collider um, in CERN that uh, helped lead to the confirmation of the Higgs boson. The these are Feynman diagrams that describe the behavior of subatomic particles. They are by computer scientist and artist Edward Tufte. These are a series of visual perception, uh, perception experiments by the artist, San Francisco artist Jim Campbell. In the background, uh, is a visual tally of exoplanet discoveries done by New York Times science graphics editor Jonathan Corum. This is uh, a black hole animation by Christopher O'Leary, an, uh, an artist, Pasadena artist, and Einstein equations by um, a Montana artist, Sarah Mast. These are Cabinets of Curiosity by the LA artist Mark Fischel. These are 12 pairs of the 110 celestial objects cataloged by 17th century astronomer Charles Messier as rendered by the Los Angeles artist Leah Halloran. Uh, these are algorithmic paintings by the artist Owen Shu and mathematician Satyan Devadas. And these are artifacts of a science life by the physics Nobel Prize winner and inventor of the bubble chamber, Donald Glazer. Now with that, I will attempt Lights down. 